for this material supplier table, we need to group up the records for material and then take one, two, three columns, join them together with a counter, and then list them all in a cell. <laughs> Now in this video, we're going to see how to do it with formulas, including Office 365 dynamic arrays. Next video, we'll see how to do it with Power Query. I'm going to add an extra column and use a formula. The first thing we need to do is go 1, 2, 3, and then start over with a new count, 1, 2, 3, when it sees a new material code and material name. Now, actually, the data set I was giving, all of these are the same, but I'm going to assume we have to use both of them as a unique identifier for grouping. To count, as we copy down a formula, we can use the count ifs. We're going to start looking at that cell, colon. I'm going to repeat B5, come back and touch the first B5, hit the F4 key to lock that one, but not the second B5. That'll be an expandable range as we copy down. The first condition is going to be, hey, whatever's relatively in this row for material code, comma. And we'll do the same thing, expandable range on material name, and then look at the condition in this row. Close paren, control enter, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. We can see that our ranges are working. And we get 1, 2, 3. And then when we get to a new combination, we get a new count. Now I'm going to join this F2, Shift 7, the ampersand. That's the join operator. In double quotes, we'll have colon and some space. Join it, and now we want to use text join. Text join is a function in Excel 2016 or later. The delimiter is going to be a vertical bar in double quotes, comma. We'll accept the default for true, comma, and the text will be 1, 2, 3. Close parentheses. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Double click to increase column width. Go to the last cell and hit F2. Now we have the correct line item join for each record in our table. I added some labels. And with a formula, we need to first, from these two columns, get a unique list of records. Now, unique is one of these new dynamic array functions that currently, July 29th, 2019, are only an Office 365 Insider Edition. We highlight the two columns, close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, it'll deliver a unique list of records from those two columns. Now, watch what happens when I hit Enter. It automatically spills. Now, the formula doesn't live in any of these cells. It only lives in the top cell. Now, for each row in this report, we're somehow going to have to be able to look up all of those records. And these are the things we want to return to the cell. No problem. We're going to use another dynamic array function, filter. I need to look through this column, comma. And for include, I need to build a logical test. So I'm going to say, hey, this first column right here, how many of you are equal to material code? Close parentheses. Since both conditions have to be met, these two, we use multiplication. Then we do our next test, asking is the column equal to that material name. Close parentheses. Only when we get a true true will the table be filtered. Close parentheses. And watch what happens when I hit Enter. Well, it worked for there, but I don't want them to spill. I want them in the cell. No problem. F2 filter is delivering multiple items, and we need to join them. So we'll use text join. And the delimiter, since we need a line feed, we have to use ASCII character 10. So I type the character function with the 10. Second argument will accept the default comma. And there's the text items. Even though they spill when filters in a cell, the fact that there's multiple items here, text join will just take them and join them together. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. Oh, look at that. I forgot to lock everything. By the way, those of you that watch Excel is fun all the time, you always see me going to the last cell and hitting F2. This is why. There's an error. I go back to the top. And so for array, I hit the F4 key. F4. F4, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. Now I highlight, 
And now when I wrap text, that is amazing. Look at that. We have accomplished the goal, joining these three columns together with a counter, displaying them in a single cell with line feeds. Text join character filter, unique, count ifs, and text join. All right, here's your bonus formula. Instead of using ASCII character function, in double quotes, we use the keyboard for a line feed. When we're in an Excel cell, Alt-Enter, and double quote. So even though we can't see anything there, that Alt-Enter is there. Control-Enter, double click, and send it down. Now luckily, in next video, we'll see how to create the same report using Power Query. So if you don't have the dynamic array formulas yet, at least Power Query will come to the rescue.